Hey Hofstra fans, welcome to the WB Mason Coaches Report right here on GoHofstra.com. My name is Kevin Dexter, joined alongside by the head coach of the Hofstra Pride softball team, Bill Edwards. Coach, thanks so much for the time. How are you today? How's it pleasure? You're doing okay. Uh, I'm off a of suicide watch being 0-8, <laughs> but other than that, we're, uh, we're working at it. Well, Coach, you just brought it up, struggling to start the season, but against some very good teams. You played some quality opponents, a lot of one-run losses. How have you been able to put the early season into perspective? I'd rather be 0-8 playing the teams that we're playing as tight as we're playing them and as good as we're playing them um, than maybe be 7-1 playing weaker competition. Um, I, I think it's going to make us better long term. Um, we, we've been in it every single game. Uh, they've all, you know, so a lot of one-run games, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, games where we haven't gotten key hit where we had to get it. We're getting very, very good pitching. Our, our, our pitchers are making key pitches when they have to make them. Um, and uh, now we just have to sort of tie everything together. Um, got off to a slow start, maybe defensively a little bit, um, but we sort of turned that around now, and now, now we need some timely hitting. You know, in, in our game, it's never how many of what you get, it's the time that you get them. And you purposely, of course, every coming into every year to prepare yourself for the CA slate, I'm sure, building up a strong out-of-conference resume. So, as you said, that, was that the goal of this year, to play all these tough teams, no matter the result, win or loss? Yeah, and, and what, what we wanted to do, because we really felt that we had uh, a nice junior-senior lineup to, uh, to win a couple of these games, maybe be, you know, 4-4 uh, four and four or 5-3, and three, you know, uh, so that we can increase our chances for an at-large bid, just in case what happened last year in right. the conference championship happens again, um, where we would have a shot of getting that, that um, at-large bid. And you can see by our scores that we're right there. You know, so, you know, when you lose in one-run games, extra inning games to the top teams of the country, um, it does say that you're you're playing pretty well. And of course, with the players on this team, of course, used to picking up a lot of wins. Has this taken any toll, the, the losing and the losing close games early on in the season? I think they're as disappointed as I am, you know, because they they battle, they played hard, the attitude is great, uh, the, the the commitment is there, um, and and I just see eventually things turning around. Um, and hopefully it'll be this weekend down at the Citrus Classic, but uh, you never know when it's going to happen. Um, so we're just going to keep battling away and playing hard, which is what we do, which is our MO, and you know we just have to keep doing that. And as long as we keep competing uh, every pitch and playing hard every pitch, um, things will eventually turn around. Well, going into this year, we knew a big strength in your team was going to be pitching, but of course Olivia Gladia and Wade coming back. What have you thought from those two in here in the first couple of games that you've been able uh, to see them? Yeah, Erin Wade is throwing the ball as well as I've ever seen her throw. But she is really hitting spots. Um, she's she's. Pitch in some great moments. She had base load against Tennessee, and nobody out gave up only one run. So that shows you how, how uh, you know she's she's been throwing the ball. She's throwing it really, really well. Great command of her pitches. Um, when you could throw inside to some of the hitters, you know that that she's facing, hitting those inside spots, and hit, you know actually pitching to both sides of the plate. Um, I'm just really, really happy because she's worked so hard in the off season to achieve the level that she's at right now. Um, Olivia's throwing the ball well, um, and you know when you have when you have two pitchers that you can go back to back and then pitch off of and relief off of, um, uh, it's it's sort of a good thing to have. Um, both of them have pitched about 21 innings, you know, mm -hmm. so they've they've been pitching complete games, and uh, we don't have a pitch count because uh, Liz Anderson has been working really hard, you know, during the during the preseason. They're in shape, they look good, and. Uh, now we're getting ready for the grind. Well, you know, going into this season, in terms of your lineup and out in the field, a lot of different players changing positions. How do you think that they've adjusted here in the first couple of games? We're we're still changing positions around. You know, we're still looking for people. There's there's still competition going on. I'm trying to motivate uh, <laughs> some players to to step their game up a little bit. Uh, you know, how much we need some of the players that have been maybe in the background a little bit to step up and create some competition or to take a spot from somebody uh, or to you know compete for um, a position that maybe uh, we need competition at. So it's it's healthy, it's good. Um, we've been playing a lot of people um, in different positions even during some of these games, mm -hmm. uh, early games. So uh, we're still searching, we're still searching for a lineup, we're still searching for um, a, a lineup that we think is going to be competitive in the CAA. And you said Time of hitting is going to be something that you're going to need here coming up in the next couple of weeks. Are there any specific players that you're seeing on the cusp of that that maybe need to break through here in the next couple of years? You know, we, 
Becca Bigler uh, is is really the only one that's really getting on it right now. Mm -hmm. She's she's on time. She's she's aggressive in the batter spot. She's looking to drive the ball. She's looking to hit every pitch that's thrown at her. And if we can get everyone in our lineup to, to get that aggressive mentality that Becca Bigler has, um, Courtney Cruz is doing the same thing, having having really good at bats. Um, our slappers at the top um, are uh, you know getting on base for them, and it's ironic because. Our leadoff stat, as a leadoff hitter, we're hitting 500 as a team. Runners in scoring position, we're hitting 89. So if that doesn't sum up what's going on this year. So we have to have one through nine, people coming off the bench with runners in scoring position. That's, that, that's why we're 0-8 right, right now, losing all of these one-run games, because we're just leaving too many runners in scoring position, not getting that timely hit. And you've traveled a lot to start the season. You're traveling again this weekend down to the Citrix Classic. Do you feel like the early season travel, being on the road seemingly every weekend, is helping this team come together as bonding? Do you always look at that at the beginning of the season as good to have road trips like that? Yeah, and that's a, and that's a good point, because when you're, when you're home and in the dorms and doing your studying, uh, you know, Sometimes you, you don't get as focused as you can on the road. Mm -hmm. uh, when you're on the road, I have them as a captive audience. Okay? Right. So we can have meetings, we can get together. Uh, you know, just, just a camaraderie of, of uh, you know, chemistry building during that period of time um, is definitely a positive, uh, you know, positive thing for our, our, uh, you know, for our team. Well, Citrix Classic taking a number of top 25 teams on again this weekend. So what do you guys have to do to correct that, uh, what has been going wrong in the first couple of games and pick up a couple of wins in the game? We can't be hitting 89 with runners in scoring position, man. We got we got to start hitting, uh, you know, with runners in scoring position. Uh, if our defense keeps improving the way that it has, if if our pitchers keep throwing the ball the way that they're throwing it, and if we just get a couple, you know, key hits with runners in scoring position, I think we'll be okay. And what do you think it'll do for the confidence of this team if you can pick up a win or two against one of these ranked opponents? You know, it's it's funny because we we say that. That, that first game against Louisville, if we would have won that nine inning game against Louisville, who was I think 15 in the country at the mm -hmm. time, or you know whatever, um, we we just as the confidence could have flipped. Right. Okay, and we could very easily be eight zero now. Right. Um, but losing that first game sometimes plays with your confidence a little bit. So now we're starting to get it back, and and all we need is one inning for somebody to break out to put us ahead by four or five runs. Uh, get the confidence going, get the positive attitude going. Uh, once that happens, and I don't know when it's going to happen, hopefully it'll happen this, this weekend, I think it'll flip the coin. All right, well, Coach Bill Edwards' squad in action down at the Citrus, Citrus Classics, excuse me, down in Florida this weekend. Coach, thanks for the time. Good luck in Florida. It's a pleasure. Thank you. And thank you for tuning in to the WB Mason Coaches Report right here on GoHofstra.com.